You know, when we think about vitamins, we often picture those little pills or maybe the fresh produce we try to incorporate into our diets. But today, I want to talk about something that goes beyond just keeping our bones strong. I'm talking about vitamin D, often referred to as the sunshine vitamin. It's not just a nutrient. It's a powerhouse that plays a significant role in our overall health, particularly when it comes to cancer prevention. Let's break it down. Vitamin D is crucial for so many things in our body. It helps keep our immune system strong, regulates cell growth, and there's even research suggesting it might lower the risk of certain cancers. But here's where it gets interesting. The relationship between cancer and vitamin D is quite complex. On one hand, this vitamin can help protect us from cancer, but on the other hand, if someone has cancer, their body can struggle to maintain adequate levels of vitamin D. It's like a vicious cycle that nobody wants to be a part of. So how exactly does vitamin D help in cancer prevention? Well, one of its key roles is promoting a process called apoptosis. Sounds fancy, right? But it's really just a way of saying that damaged cells get a signal to self-destruct. This is incredibly important because cancer happens when those damaged cells refuse to die and instead continue to grow. Vitamin D steps in and encourages those cells to take the exit before they can turn into something dangerous. Then we have the issue of cell growth and division. Think about cancer cells as those party guests who just won't leave, multiplying and taking over. Vitamin D helps control this wild growth, ensuring that cells don't multiply uncontrollably. It can even cut off the supply lines for tumor cells, making it difficult for them to get the nutrients they need to survive. Now, let's talk about inflammation. Chronic inflammation is like the uninvited guest that makes everything uncomfortable and can create an environment where cancer cells thrive. Vitamin D has anti-inflammatory properties that can help lower inflammation levels in the body. By doing this, it makes it a lot harder for cancer cells to survive. And we can't forget about the immune system. This is our body's natural defense mechanism against diseases, including cancer. Vitamin D strengthens the immune system by boosting the activity of immune cells like T cells, which are like the body's little soldiers, ready to recognize and destroy abnormal cells. Plus, it can enhance the effectiveness of chemotherapy, which is a huge deal for those undergoing treatment. But here's the catch. When someone has cancer, the game changes. Cancer cells can create an environment that actually lowers vitamin D levels in the body. They can create high levels of inflammation, low oxygen conditions, and even an acidic environment. It's like they're throwing a party where vitamin D isn't welcome. This makes it harder for the body to absorb and utilize vitamin D effectively. Additionally, cancer can block the conversion of vitamin D from its inactive form to its active form, which is essential for it to work properly. It can also interfere with the receptors that vitamin D needs to bind to in order to function. So, while vitamin D is trying to do its job, cancer is throwing up roadblocks left and right. Now, for those battling cancer or even just trying to prevent it, increasing vitamin D intake can be a game changer. Some experts suggest that cancer patients may need much higher doses of vitamin D than the average person, sometimes as high as 50,000 IU daily. But hold on, this is not something to do without guidance. High doses can be toxic, so it's critical to work with healthcare professionals to monitor levels and ensure safety. So, how can we boost our vitamin D levels? Well, there are a few supplements and lifestyle changes that can help. First up, magnesium is vital for vitamin D absorption. It's found in leafy greens, nuts, and seeds. Then we have omega-3 fatty acids, which can help reduce inflammation and improve the body's use of vitamin D. Think fish oils and flax seeds. Also, consider adding natural antioxidants to your diet, like resveratrol from grapes or curcumin from turmeric. These can enhance vitamin D activity. And let's not forget about exercise and stress reduction. Regular physical activity can reduce inflammation and improve insulin sensitivity, both of which are great for vitamin D function. Dietary changes can also play a role. 
A low-carb diet might improve insulin sensitivity, especially for those with diabetes. Intermittent fasting has been shown to boost cell health and may even improve how our bodies utilize vitamin D. And don't overlook the power of probiotics. Foods like yogurt and sauerkraut can support a healthy gut microbiome, which is crucial for a strong immune system and effective vitamin D utilization. Of course, one of the simplest ways to boost vitamin D is to soak up some natural sunlight. Just a little time outside can do wonders for your levels. In conclusion, while vitamin D is not a cure-all, it's an essential part of a holistic approach to cancer prevention and treatment. It's about combining medical treatment with lifestyle improvements and, when necessary, higher doses of vitamin D under medical supervision. The science is clear. Vitamin D plays a significant role in cancer prevention and treatment. By understanding its benefits and working with healthcare providers to maintain sufficient levels, we can take proactive steps toward reducing cancer risk and improving outcomes for those undergoing treatment. So, let's shine a light on vitamin D and all the incredible things it can do for our health.